As it's me, your badass host, Traven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in the last episode, it wasn't that bad. We didn't screw up too much. Uh, I mean, damn. It's a pretty good episode right there. And, you know, I'm actually loving how this game is going. So, let's continue on our adventure right here, guys, because we got a lot to cover. So, in our last episode, we managed to defeat our rival, Trace, in our very first battle. We got ourselves two new Pokemon, which... We're probably not going to be using, you know, it's all about Aaliyah and all that stuff. Now, in the last episode, I did mention about how you got Pokemon Box right here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually show you what to do. So in the Pokemon Box, once you got Pokemon on your party, you can either remove them, move them, check the summary, change their nickname, change their markings and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to be removing two Pokemon from my party because... I don't necessarily need these guys right here. I kind of already, I kind of already got the gif of how to play this game and all that stuff, and I'm just like, I'm too excited to just, you know, I'm just too excited. So let's continue on our adventure right here now. Before we do anything, I, I hope we can heal our Pokemon right now because we did have a battle in the last episode. So let's see. It looks like you're having fun on your uh, journey with your Pokemon, Draven. Yeah, she's not gonna heal our Pokemon or anything like that. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Going back outside, there's somebody outside right there waiting, and let's see. Well, if you talk to this lady. Hey, Draven! Oh, just look at the Pikachu. You two are already looking like great partners. And I've got the perfect little gift for such a great team. Here, take this! We got ourselves a sportswear from the big sister of, uh, what's his face? Trace. Of course, her name is not Daisy and all that stuff. You put the, you put the sportswear in your clothing trunk. Try putting that on Pikachu. You can go on an adventure with a matching clothes. Oh, damn. Oh. Well, look at this guy. And... Sparky looks happy. Okay, so now we're trying out the new feature right here where we can actually pet our Pikachu and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's go with partner play right here. As you can see, play with the Sparky. Joy-Con. You can pet Sparky by placing your hand on it, on it and moving your hand. Press the A Z or press the Z R or the A button to pet your uh, your spot your Pokemon on and hands on. You know, you, I can't even read. Y button, center your hand. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so let's see. Let's go right ahead. How about this? I'm trying, Pikachu. I am trying. Okay. Uh. Come on, Pikachu. How do I? Okay, so I think I'm petting them right now. Okay. So I think I just pet Pikachu. I don't even know. Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is. Okay. No, no, no. I accidentally poked you. Why aren't you... Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> I finally get it. Oh, my... Look at you. And he's happy. I did it! <laughs> Okay, never mind. Okay, so that's how you do it. Again, I'm still trying to get a controls of this. And let's see. There is also this little icon right here, which will include Pikachu's special moves. <laughs> it seems like Pikachu wants to play. Don't forget to show it some love from time to time. Oh, play with Sparky has been added to the main menu. Press the X button to see. Select this option to play with Sparky whenever you want. So what that means is we can actually go right here now and pet Pikachu whenever we want. Okay, so let's continue on our adventure right here. And as you probably already noticed, P Pokemon do appear after a while. They just pop up. And the best way to get experience points, the best experience points, is to just capture Pokemon right here. You remember how like in, in the end game, like in re any real game like Red, Blue, Yellow, or any kind of games, it's battling Pokemon that actually gets you more experience points. But right here, it actually, it, it's vice versa and all that stuff. So as you can see, I call myself another Pidgey because, screw it. Because we need to grow, we need to grow Pikachu from level to level right here. We can't slack off, guys. We cannot slack off. So there it is, another Pikachu. We got a combo, and we're going to be moving on right here. Okay, so that's an oddish right there. Do not want to battle with this guy. And if you talk to this guy now, thanks for helping me out on the parcel. 
the Pokemart is conveniently chain sell or a convenient chain selling all sorts of items, so please come visit us. Oh, I know. I'll give you a sample. Here you go. And we get ourselves that potion that we never really got. Your Pokemon may take damage when you battle other trainers. Be sure to use a potion on them when it happens. Okay, alrighty. Potions and all that stuff. And would you look at that? There's an Oddish there waiting for us to capture it. So from time to time, guys, you're going to be seeing me trying to capture all these Pokemon. Now, capturing these Pokemon is like in Pokemon Go, the phone game and all that stuff, guys. Uh, you can actually exchange Pokemon from Pokemon Go to this game, but they won't be high leveled up or anything like that. It's only going to be the Kanto Pokemon that you'll be able to actually, you know, you'll be actually the, the transfer. Now, when I first played through this game right here, I actually transferred a buttload of my, uh, my Pokemon from Let's Go, or no, from from Pokemon Go, you know, the phone game and all that stuff. A few Shinies, uh, a few Legendaries. I will be transporting them right here, like, later on in our walkthrough and all that stuff. I do have my eye on one Pokemon that I kind of want to show you guys, and quite possibly have on my team right here. And look at that. Oh, yes. Capturing this Pokemon right here. <laughs> so I guess that makes three... Three Pidgeys right here. Alrighty, so I'm taking a selfie right here because you guys are gonna not believe how I'm, I'm doing this right here. So, look at that. Pidgey has been added to the party. And we're gonna be moving on. Now, there's a Rattata right there, so I'm gonna try and capture this guy. Mainly for the Pokedex edition right here. So, there we go. What's up, Rattata? Let's go. Alright. Where you at? He's gonna try and move. There we go. Get this. Alrighty. So, anywho, guys. Like I mentioned in the last episode, this is the very first Pokemon game that I'm doing via regular capture card, like in, you know, any other game systems. First Nintendo Switch game that I'm actually featuring on here, so I am all caught up with everybody who's out there. And, well, Pidgey just learned Gus. That's pretty cool right there. And, I guess you could say this is a trial run for what's to come, which would be Pokemon Sword and Shield and all that. So here's the Pokedex entry for Radita, the mouse Pokemon. One foot, seven pounds right there. Well, chew on anything with its fangs. If you see one, you can be certain that 40 more will live in the area. That is pretty much true. They fight in hordes and all that stuff. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, like, like I was saying, guys, eventually... Oh, wow, this guy... <laughs> He wants to battle us. Trainer's eyes have met. I'll battle you with my favorite Pokemon. So here it is. Another battle. You are challenged by youngster Ronnie. And he's going to send out his Rattata. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. Let's go, Sparky. Alrighty. It's no, it's no, it's, it's, it's not going to be hard. We're just going to be Thundershocking away and all that stuff. Look at that. You gotta love the graphics, guys. All in HD right here. And here comes that tail whip. And, wow. Really? Okay, here we go. Thundershock for the win. And, you know, if this is his favorite Pokemon, then, you know, I feel bad for this guy. Because you can find this guy anywhere. Practically anywhere. And look at that. My Pokemon are growing levels without doing anything. And look at that. Oh, this is growing... Or learning growth and all that stuff. You know, these are certain Pokemon that I will not be using. I will be transferring out and all that stuff for candy and stuff. And, well... I get, oh, wow. Don't want to run into that right there. So, before I talk about anything else, let's just continue on our adventure right here, guys. So, here's Trace waiting for us. Huh! You look pretty pleased about something, Draven. Oh, you beat another trainer? Good job. Well, since we're on the topic... The Pokemon you sent into battle, you've lost some HP or PP. You should uh, take him to the Pokemon Center and get him healed up. It doesn't cost any money and it doesn't take long at all either. Just remember, heal up after battles. Well, it's not like I didn't know. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything? There might be something right here. Pikachu's tail's not wagging. Pikachu's tail's not wagging. 
It's not wagging. So there's really nothing here. Let's go ahead and talk to this girl right here. Uh, I go shopping at the Pewter City occasionally. I have to take uh, the winding trail to Viridian Forest when I go. Is that so? Okay. So let's go right ahead and take a nice visit to the Pokemon Center. Now, if you guys remember in the last episode, they would not be able to heal our Pokemon. And here she is. Go ahead, heal my Pokemon. Because why not? Okay, look at that. Two, three, four, five. Five Pokemon on team. Look at that. Thanks for waiting. Your Pokemon should be all better now. We hope to see you again. All right, so before we do anything, I got to take care of a little something right here. Now, if there's anything this game has taught me is the fact that not all of these Pokemon are going to stay here. So what I'm going to be doing right now is, well, let's see. I usually, I usually keep the Pokemon with the highest level and then... Re you know, send the other ones through the, uh, through the, the whole, uh, whatchamacallit, the transfer stuff and all that crud, which we will get to eventually. That eventually makes them into Pokemon Candy, just like in Pokemon Go. But I usually keep the strongest one there, just in case for this part right here. So now, let's go right ahead and start doing some more details of Pokemon or Viridian City right here. So, let's go into the Pokemon. Now that we can actually get some items, I kind of want to catch some pokeballs right here so let's go ahead and talk to this guy welcome may I help you yes all right so as you can see he's selling standard stuff pokeball potion antidote burn heal ice heal awakening and par paralysis heal I'm gonna buy let's see yeah five more pokeballs because we do want to keep an even 50 and you know what let's go ahead and buy ourselves five potions just in case and one more thing. What is one more thing? Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to be running into some Pokemon that will just try and poison us. So that's two right there. And you know what? Awakenings. Let's go with three of them. Just in case, you know. Because there will be Pokemon that will try and put us to sleep. And finally, three more Paralysis Heal because, yeah. We are victims. We are, you know, patient zero to paralysis and all that stuff. You guys have seen my other walkthroughs. It's funny. It is hilarious. Okay, so let's see. What is next? Let's see. Now that we've actually entered the parcel, we can actually go straight ahead. But before we go anywhere, I kind of want to go here to Route 22 because... There are some interesting Pokemon that I could capture right here. You guys already know where I'm going with this. And, well, there's a spear right there, which I'm going to try and capture. Oh, yes. What up, Spearow? Let's do this. Here we go. Throwing that Pokeball. Excellent. For the win. Look at that. Stay in the ball. It stayed in the Pokeball. I'm throwing out that piece on, guys. Man. I think I, I think I also mentioned that this is like the first Pokemon game I'm only standing up for. Like, I'm literally on my feet recording and <laughs> doing the voiceover for it. It's hilarious. And, well, look at that. Got ourselves a Spearow. And it is one foot, four pounds. Flying and normal type Pokemon, of course, is Tiny Bird. And not that flying high. However, it could fly around very fast to protect its territory. A very, 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 very mean Pokemon. You guys already saw the, you know, you guys already saw the cartoon. And would you look at that. I found a Pokemon that I did want. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Thrasher. Level 3 Pokemon. Alright, here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so that, that was pretty bad. So, throw it at the screen. That's what it was all about. Don't throw it at the side of the screen. And look at that. We caught ourselves a neater and male. Alrighty, look at this. Look at that. Everybody's gaining levels. I'm feeling happy about this. And look at that. Neater and male has been added to our uh, Pokedex right here. As you can see, it's a poison type Pokemon. One foot eight, 19 and a half, or just 20 pounds even. Its large ears are always kept upright. If it senses danger, it will attack with a poisonous sting. And yes, he will be added to my team. It will never ask you for the nickname, so what we're going to do right here 
is we're going to go straight to the party and actually change the name right here. So I know that there's going to be better, there's going to be better Nidoran males, but I do like to capture my, my team Pokemon, you know, from lower levels and just level them up because it just, it's satisfying to me. So we bequeath this Pokemon's name, Thrasher. Now, a lot of these Pokemon that we have right now are not going to be on our team very, very long. Trust me, guys, this game actually offers up so much more. I have plans for different types of Pokemon to actually have here because I, I, I know what you guys are saying. Oh, he's going to have the same team from Pokemon Yellow. No. It's a little different, guys. Just a little different. And there is a Rattata wanting to, to mess with us. And believe it or not, guys, he'll actually find us. But as you can see right here... <laughs> Radito found us. All right, let's go ahead and capture this guy. Another excellent. I'm really, really good at this. And look at that. I'm drinking water, guys. Sorry. So there we go. Radita has been captured. More experience points for all our Pokemon. And Pidgey, as you can see, growing to level 7. And look at that. Pidgey, or another, uh, I mean, Radita. <laughs> Okay, so if you guys haven't noticed, Pikachu's tail is wagging, so that usually means there's something hiding right there, so pick that up, we found ourselves an antidote. Pretty good one right there. Now, let's move on ahead, and Trace is waiting for us, he's like, oh, hey, Draven! You hoping to make it to the Pokemon League someday, too? That's where you can battle the strongest of all Pokemon trainers, the ones they call the Elite Four. I was hoping maybe I could get a glimpse of him, but the guard at the gate wouldn't even let me uh, pass without any badges from the Pokemon gyms. Guess I'll, uh, guess I'll just have to get there a long way by battling and getting strong. So Draven, I guess that's, I guess that means it's on. Okay, so here we go, another Pokemon battle against our rival Trace, and of course his face is like just evil. I hate the look of on his face, guys. Trust me, I, I just do. So here it comes out with a Pidgey, and of course I'm coming out with my badass Pikachu, Sparky. Let's do this. Thundershock for the win. Oh yes. Oh yeah. No chance whatsoever. This guy's at level 3. I don't know what you were thinking. And look at that. Lo of course, leveling up battling is a little bit different, guys. And as you can see, Thrasher's gaining levels right there. So now he's about to come out with an Eevee. I'm going to stay put because none of my Pokemon are strong enough to take on this guy. And as you can see, Eevee is at level 7. So what we're going to do is continue dominating it with some Thunder Shocks here and there. That's right. Feel the burn of Pikachu. And of course, Quick Attack just does us. Here we go. Quick Attack again. Oh my god. This Pokemon is a little strong, so here we go. Thundershock again. Paralysis? No. Let's go, Thundershock. And would you look at that. We're almost going to beat this guy. And I don't know why you would be using Tackle right now. I really don't know. So here we go. Thundershock again. And bam. So Eevee has been defeated. Look at that. Look at that. And of course, getting experience points just like nobody else's business. We're at level 9, finally, and we want to learn Double Kick. So this is a new move that Pikachu can actually learn, mainly because, hey, you're going to be battling a Rock-type Gym Leader, so let's go right ahead and teach it. Take away Growl, and BAM! Double Kick for the win. And look at that. Trace has been defeated. He's like, whoa! Seriously? Yes. Serious for serious. Huh. Hmm, maybe battling like this is just helping you get stronger, huh, Draven? Oh well, that works too. Let's train hard so we can uh, someday both make it to the Pokemon League. And look at that. He's taking a hike. So, what he's talking about is that, you know, the Pokemon League right here, best trainers in the whole wide world. And we won't be able to battle those guys anytime soon because we don't have any badges. So, what we're going to be doing now. In this episode, is just take a tour of uh, Radiant City, you know, essentials and all that stuff. 
as you can see, we're back in Viridian City, and there is maybe quite a few things you can actually see right here. So let's go ahead and start with this one. Trainer school. Get schooled in school. It's pretty cool. That's a good, that's a good model right there, I guess. And let's see if this person gives us anything. So, okay, everyone. Where can you find information that is useful for trainers? That's right, in the classroom. You can find it on the blackboard or in the books. Please read bulletin boards for trainer tips in towns and cities, too really and as you can see the blackboard has a status conditions that can help uh, or that can happen for Pokemon during battles which topic would you want to read as you guys already know falling asleep getting burned poison uh, getting frozen and paralysis easy things to remember guys we don't necessarily need to know about it I'm just trying to get take a tour of the whole place right here so let's move on to the next place right here, guys. I believe it's right here where the old man was like, you know, cantankerous because he didn't have his uh his uh quote unquote tea and all that stuff. Talk to this guy. Coming up with nicknames is fun, but it's not so easy to do. Clever names are nice, but simple names are easier to remember. You can change your Pokemon's nicknames from the main menu. Just view your party and choose the Pokemon with the name you want to change. This is true, which you guys already saw. And then talk to this lady, and she's like, my daddy loves Pokemon, too. Don't we all? This is why I'm doing the walkthroughs, guys. It's just it's just fun. Very, very fun. Alrighty, so, as you guys already know, there is a Pokemon gym right here. The Viridian City Gym. It doesn't say who the gym leader is. And if you talk to this guy, this Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the gym leader is. I don't know. Some dude that wants to rule the world. I just don't know. And, well, let's see. Is there anything else before we leave? I don't know. Actually, I thought there was I thought there was going to be something else. Never mind. Okay, so, I know. Short episode, but it is what it is, guys. I just love doing this uh, walkthrough. I'm actually very, very amazed of how, how easy a transition my capture card right here is, uh, is making to the DS and all that stuff. Now... This is the end of the episode, but I'm just going to let you guys know right here, right now, okay? So, I will try and upload at least two Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That way you guys can get, you know, a little bit more episodes. Uh, eventually, I'm going to be getting done with other walkthroughs such as Omega Ruby, Heart Gold, very, very simply. Uh, very easily, I should say. So, just don't be worried, guys. I will... You know, it, it's it's in the works. Now, in this walkthrough right here, I'm going to be showing you guys a few things. I mean, I do have Pokemon in my Pokemon uh, box. What was it called again? Storage system, whatever, on this on this system right here. That I kind of want to transfer over to this game. Such as, you know, an Aerodactyl. Uh, not Mewtwo. Not Mewtwo. We're going to do this the right way right here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Any other Pokemon that I want to showcase? I don't know. I just want to showcase some different types of Pokemon. Now, as I said early on, this team will not be the same as in Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Leaf Green, and all that stuff. Now that we're playing a, a Nintendo Switch, we are enabled to actually do things differently, and I do want to show things a little bit differently. So, I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited for this walkthrough as well as the other ones, and hopefully we can get this done, you know, before the end of the year. Again, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.